dear students moving further and talking about the very first topic that is introduction of animal behavior i would continue with saying that ethology is an exceptionally broad subject and it includes the study of how animals communicate with each other animals compete and cooperate during feeding and mating animals forage and defend themselves when attacked animals migrate and live in different environments how does the brain anatomy affects animal behavior how an animal learns and it remembers genes affect behavior how animals differ in their personality and social structures how animals pair and reproduce so these are simple questions which would be answered or which we would try to analyze during each topic which we cover up in animal behavior how animals communicate with each other i told you initially that when you hear birds or have you ever seen the honey bees they aggregate at a place they know from where to collect pollen where they would be getting nectar so how do they communicate and very commonly you must have seen the ants following each other one after the other one after the other so this is what when you observe and you know oh the ants of one ant is following the other and when you can see them in a trail collecting food and returning how animals compete and cooperate during feeding why don't they fight and if fight they fight uh, why and if they don't again why what distance do, do the animal animals forage for food and for any other purpose for drinking and they come back to their homes so you see the birds flying long distances and coming back to their homes in the evening how do they remember that this is their house this is their nest this is their roosting site so how does the brain affect this animal behavior how an animal learns and it remembers so how do the genes affect the behavior if they do all these questions need to be answered and therefore it is a really very broad but a very interesting subject to study ethology is not only important as an academic science but also has important implications in animal welfare for example understanding animal behavior is essential in animal parks animal husbandry and when using animals in scientific research understanding animal behavior is also essential in all other activities where we interact with living animals as in the use of domestic animals when hunting and fishing in medical science using animals when training animals and also for veterinary uh, veterinarians and in animal conservation studies on human behavior are of course also included in ethology and the application of such knowledge provides a natural scientific perspective and understanding of human behavior ethology combines laboratory and field science with a strong relation to some other disciplines such as neuroanatomy ecology and evolutionary biology definitely when we are studying ethology or uh, the animal behavior field science is important because uh, whatever the behavior is there in the open which is the natural habitat of an organism one should study the behavior there but when you are trying to study the effect of brain the effect of any chemical we definitely have to study and do it in the laboratory so it combines both the studies of in the laboratory and of course as a field science ethologists typically show interest in a behavioral process rather than in a particular animal group and often study one type of behavior such as aggression in a number of unrelated species so behavior if we have defined the types of behavior and we are trying to study the typical that behavior in different groups of organisms they may be related they may be unrelated so ethologists may concentrate on a single uh, individual species or 
uh, they could be on a single type of behavior usually it is a single type of behavior in different uh, 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 species uh, maybe or a number of uh, species may be related or may be unrelated ethology is a rapidly growing field since the dawn of the 21st century researchers have re-examined and reached new conclusions in many aspects of animal communication emotions culture learning and sexuality that the scientific community long thought it understood new fields such as neuroethology have developed actually when it is always the case that initially we think yes we know everything about an individual may be the human being or may it be any organism but when we start studying when we go into the depth then we realize oh we still are unaware of many of the aspects related to that particular individual or that particular organism so with the study of ethology we the researchers have re-examined and have reached to many new conclusions related to various behavioral aspects of different species of different organisms understanding ethology or animal behavior can be important in animal training considering the natural behaviors of different species or breeds enables trainers to select the individuals best suited to perform the required task it also enables trainers to encourage the performance of naturally occurring behaviors and the discontinuance of undesirable behaviors so the term ethology derived from the greek language ethos meaning character and logos l o g o s meaning the study of the term was first popularized by american myrmecologist a myrmecologist is a person who studies ants uh, was given by william morton in 1902 because ethology is considered a topic of biology ethologists have been concerned particularly with the evolution of behavior and its and its understanding in terms of natural selection in one sense the first modern ethologist was charles darwin whose 1872 book the expression of the emotions in man and animals influenced many ethologists as the name indicates the expression of emotions in man definitely it would be psychology but when it is associated with animals it becomes ethology other early ethologists such as charles o whitman oscar hinroth wallace craig and julian huxley instead concentrated on behaviors that co- that can be called instinctive or natural that is innate within an individual which is present from birth in that they occur in all members of a species under specified circumstances their beginning for studying the behavior of a new species was to construct an ethogram which is a description of the main types of behavior with their frequencies of occurrence this provided an objective cumulative database of behavior which subsequent researchers could check and supplement so initially when these uh, ethologists which have been named here they started with their work they concentrated on behaviors which was instinctive or which we can say is from birth so there are many things which are from birth which are not learned through uh, during the course of life but they are inborn like uh, the building of nest the sexual act being performed uh, then the way one uh, cries the way one laughs so these are certain this which are uh, pro- by birth due to the work of conrad lorenz and nico tinbergen ethology developed strongly in continental europe during the years prior to world war 2 lorenz tinbergen and von frisch were jointly awarded the nobel prize in physiology or medicine in 1973 for their work of developing ethology so uh, long back this nobel prize has been shared by the ethologists there are many psychologists naturalists and ethologists who have contributed 
significantly in initiating study of animal behavior. These include William James, Charles Otis Whitman, George Romans, Ivan P. Pavlov. We would be studying the experiment he performed uh, on the learning behavior, Sigmund Freud, Thomas Hunt Morgan, Oscar Heinroth, Edward Thorn, John B. Watson, and some of the more known scientists are Carl von Frisch, Conrad Lawrence, Skinner, he is very famous for his Skinner box, Harry Harlow, Nicotin Virgin, Desmond Morris, E. O. Wilson, William D. Hamilton, and Richard Dawkins. And as already told earlier, that the Nobel Prize has been uh, received by Conrad Lawrence, Nicotin Virgin, and Carl von Frisch for their discoveries concerning organization and elicitation of individual and social behavior patterns and they are called founders of ethology. Very important, Nicotine Virgin argued that ethology always needed to include four kinds of explanation in any instance of behavior. So if we talk about any behavior, we need to explain certain things and these certain things has been given in points by nicotine virgin and these are four points which have been mentioned number one function how does the behavior affect the animal's chances of survival and reproduction why does the animal respond that way instead of some other way so why a particular a behavior or a response is elicited by an individual organism in a particular way why not in some other way causation what are the stimuli that elicit the response and how has it been modified by recent learning now what exactly what kind of a response is uh, elicited is uh, produced in an organism towards a specific stimuli and uh, does this stimuli and sorry uh, does this response change by the learning or it is the same always development how does the behavior change with age and what early experiences are necessary to, for the animal to display the behavior so does the age i mean from the childhood to the adulthood is there any change in the behavior that means do these experiences and learning change the response are all the behavior response changed or only some specific ones get changed evolutionary history how does the behavior compare with similar behavior in related species and how might it have begun through the process of phylogeny so if there are two species uh, do they have the same behavioral response do they have the same behavior if we try to compare the related species and how it could have begun uh, how it might have initiated through the process of phylogeny saying that yes uh, from here it was same and from here onwards uh, it changed a bit giving rise to another species and another change in the behavior of another species so these little questions are the basic questions of ethology uh, which we try to answer while discussing the uh, behavior of any individual or any sort of behavior that is function causation development and evolutionary history thank you